Okay, class. So today's lesson is going to be on common denominators. and equivalent fractions. Okay, this is, you'll hear me call this uh, lowest common denominator or even LCM, the lowest common multiple. Okay. Now, when we have two fractions that we either need to add or subtract, if they have different denominators, we are going to need to create uh, equivalent fractions so that both fractions have the same denominator. So today we're just going to learn how to find common denominators. So if I have the fraction 2 fifths and 5 eighths, I'm going to want to create an, a fraction that is equivalent to 2 fifths and a fraction that's equivalent to 5 eighths where both of them have the same denominator. Okay? Okay, so step one, identify the denominators. Okay, so my denominators in this case are 5 and 8. Step 2, list multiples. Of the first fraction's denominator, And let's start with the denominator, the fraction that has the larger denominator. This will just make things easier later on. Okay, so my fraction with the larger denominator is 5 eighths. So I'm going to list the multiples of that denominator. Okay, so I'm going to start with 8. Okay, and my next 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. Then keep going, I'm listing multiples 32, 40, 48, 56. 64, 72, and, I, and I'm going to stop there, okay? Okay, so now then step three, I'm going to list the multiples of the second fraction. Okay, well my second fraction's denominator in this case is 5. So I'm going to list multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, and I'm going to stop there. 
Now I'm going to look at both lists. Okay, so here's my list for the fraction that has 8 as a denominator, and here's my list for my fraction that has 5 as a denominator. So step 4. Circle the smallest number that is in both lists. Okay? So I'm looking at both lists here. And I'm going to find the smallest number that appears in both, which is going to be the common one, right? Because remember, common means that it's the same. It's the same in both of them. So looking through here, and I see that I have 40, and I have 40 in this one. So 40 is a common multiple of 8 and 5, which that kind of makes sense, right? Because 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, so the lowest common multiple is 40 for the numbers 5 and 8. So now we're going to create equivalent fractions with both of those and 40 will be the denominator. Create equivalent fractions and the number you circled is the new denominator. So set it up like this, 2 fifths and 5 eighths. Those are my two fractions, right? And remember, I told you we're creating equivalent ones with 40 as a denominator. So equals, I'm going to put 40 down here because that's my new denominator for both of them. Okay, so this is where I ask myself, how did I get from 5 to 40. What did I multiply by to get 5 to 40? I multiplied by 8. So since I multiplied by 8 on the bottom, I have to do the same to the top. So that is 2 times 8. So that means my numerator on this one is 16. How did I get from 8 to 40? Well, I multiplied by 5. 8 times 5 is 40, so I have to do the same thing to the top. 5 times 5 is 25. So these are my two equivalent fractions now with the same denominator. 2 fifths is equivalent to 16 fortieths because we multiplied the top and the bottom by the same number. 5 eighths is equivalent to 25 fortieths because we multiplied the top and the bottom by the same number. So remember our golden rule of fractions. You'll hear me repeat this over and over. Do the same to the top as you do to the bottom. Do the same thing to the numerator as you did to the denominator. Okay. So let's try one more, okay? Let's try 3 fourths and 1 sixth, okay? So I'm going to list multiples of 6 first. That's 6, 12, 18, 24 and 30. I'm going to stop there. 
Now I'm going to list multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I'm going to stop. But I could have stopped a lot earlier than this because my lowest number was 12. Okay, 12 is a multiple of both 4 and 6. So now I'm going to create my new fractions. 3 fourths equals, my new denominator is 12, and 1 sixth equals, my new denominator is 12, Okay, so I ask myself, what did I multiply 4 by to get 12? Well, it's going to be 4 times 3, and I'm going to write it in here so that I remember, and that I remember to do it to the top, so that's 3 times 3. That's 9. So I've created a fraction with 12 as a denominator that is equivalent to 3 fourths, and it's 9 twelfths. Now I'm going to create a fraction that's equivalent to 1 sixth, with 12 as a denominator. 6 times 2 is 12. So I have to multiply the top times 2. 1 times 2 is 2. There's my two new fractions with the same denominator. So I would like you to try and create equivalent fractions with common denominators for one third and one fifth. Okay, try this. Okay, all right. Have a great weekend.